I am Michael, a.k.a. Rickshaw, and you're nerding out with Rickshaw. You're also nerding out with... What's up, nerds? It's Rabbit. And it is me, the producer, Toby Von Doom. Autumn. Oh, uh, you know what, though? There is... I wrestled a bear once, had beef uh, with a couple of people. Uh, bears. And, Wait. And whoa. if you... Bears, bears. <laughs> hold on. Bears. Hold on. What is... It? Is, are you about to say that this is... Is this a toy a uh, uh, story? Door story! <laughs> Got it. And it's also a beef edition. Where's the beef? Oh, that beef. <laughs> I got too many buttons now. <laughs> yeah! Look at that. We're fucking... <laughs> killing it we're doing it guys you're killing it toby it's professional this is like the sickest show <laughs> getting there getting there this is, this is better than carson soon we will have beef with another podcast <laughs> oh yeah oh dude that sounds so sick what's that one show called metalcore nerds we're calling you out right now whoa don't, don't do that know. i'll have to have this conversation behind closed doors first <laughs> but anyways i wrestled a bear once had beef uh, with well, it was like one of them was very short lived, and then the second one was like it was I don't know, it was getting annoying, honestly. And it was between girls, <laughs> it was all all the girls that got this beef started. Mm. One time, uh, I think it was the All Stars tour, uh, us, and in this moment, we're like, I think we were, uh, we're right in the spot where we would flip flop. So sometimes it would be us that was the later one, and sometimes it would be them. Sometimes we'd play before them, you know what I mean? And I remember the very first day, things were, like, very hectic. You know, when you're when you're doing a tour like that, and you get there, and you have, like, 12-plus bands on, like, two different stages, and like, and they're, they just have to, you have to be on time. You're like it's hectic. You don't know anybody, and if you do know bands, you know some of the bands. It's like just a couple, and it's like your stage might not be with theirs. Anyways, so the the point is like I remember us standing there waiting, and we're like looking at our clock, and we're like, all right, this should be their last song, and then it was like, all right, let's keep it going, <laughs> and we were like, oh, um. Seems like they're running over a little bit, uh, and we're supposed to start soon, or we we should already be, you know, getting our stuff on stage. And then we're like, okay, okay, this one should be the last one. And then they're like, all right, one more for (laughs) y'all. And then Krista started getting pissed. She was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And then finally... Uh, when they end and we start going on stage and then when we end up playing we end up having to cut a song and Mm. so at that point after we were done Krista was just (laughs) livid and just fucking saying shit out loud you know and she was just like what the fuck they fucking went over so fucking long we had to cut a fucking song and uh, I guess some of the in this moment dudes were kind of like close enough to hear it and Chris is like, fuck that bitch, <laughs> you know, and that stuff. And then finally, before, you know, before the end of the show, that day, even like some of the dudes came up and we were all talking and they were like, hey, we really didn't know what the time was, you know, and we just thought that if we started late, we could still finish on time and they were just going to push you all set so to where you still had a full amount of time because it was just because they'd started late, so they're still just going 30 minutes. And he, you know, he was like, I wasn't clear on that. Somebody told me the wrong thing. So after that, cleared it up. But it was just so funny <laughs> to watch Krista, the girl in our band, be single out the girl in their band and be like, this fucking bitch. <laughs> I know it's her fault. <laughs> but uh, also, though, this one. This one is another one. One time we did a tour and it was Otep and it was us and Stray from the Path. And everyone that played in Otep, the band itself, were the coolest dudes. And then she was kind of awful. <laughs> and she would like, 
I don't know, she, they would keep things on stage and like whenever, if it was any of her stuff and we would be like, can we please get this moved so we have more stage room? And like, she'd be like, nah, it stays. And then like whoever their tour manager was would be like, you know what, I'll move it. It's fine, you know? And it would always be this thing where like, we didn't actually talk to her. We would talk to people in her crew. And then like, there was times where like girls would come out and be like, I just want to talk to her. I'm going to hang out by the bus. She's my hero. And like, she would literally never come out and just these different girls would be crying because they're like, she's just never going to come out and talk to me, please. No. And then she'd be like, nope, <laughs> never talk to anybody. And then she would like, apparently in her bus, uh, she would have uh, the back room of the bus, like the back lounge was all hers. And she would poop in bags. <laughs> And drop them out the window. Nice souvenirs. And she refused. She refused to like walk in public when the show was happening. So it was like super weird. <laughs> super weird. Wow. So yeah. So oh to this day, uh, I mean, you know, allegedly, I don't speak <laughs> for straight from the path, <laughs> but we would all be like, "What is happening, dude? Why?" Like. <laughs> Like, why is this person not a human? They were like, I don't know. Otep seemed pretty full of herself. So, Ugh. well, uh, so but I want to touch on the in this moment. So the, that was the All Stars tour, y'all. You you guys uh, crossed over with the Scream the Prayer. What was that one tour called? Yeah, Scream there was a couple of Scream the Prayer. It was a couple of uh, dates that ran into each other. So you guys, I remember that year because you guys hit Dallas. I went to it. That's when the Scream the Prayer uh, merged and. Uh, so I want to play our new bumper because uh, this is going to be a Tales from the Pit. Tales from the Pit. <laughs> it's so loud. I'm sorry. I, turned, I didn't realize it was so loud. Anyways. So, uh, Good though. So I didn't know who in this moment was at the time. And... Their vocalists, and I, I can't stand them. I won't give them a chance. I won't listen to them. I've had friends that are like, oh, that's my favorite band. I'm not fucking listening to them. She got off stage, which is cool. When the vocalist gets off stage and gets in the pit, you're like, fuck yeah, that's cool. Or in anyone, the guitarist jumps off. You know, that's always cool. And I've told this story on the show before. She got off the stage, got into the middle of the pit, and she was like, I want a circle pit. And then all of a sudden, these big, like, security guards like followed her and they were like they were so tight around her that she couldn't there's no way she could possibly like no one could touch her and yeah. as people were, were circle pitting around her she was like if any of you touch me these guys are gonna fuck you up and it just killed the entire vibe of the show of everything and it was just like why are you getting in the crowd and trying to be cool if you're just gonna like complain about everything and and just be <laughs> Not very fun. Not not that like I I endorse like people just going up and grabbing her and shit. But like yeah, it'd be fun to do that though. Ironically, right? You're just like circle pit. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. Like it felt like this. Don't touch me, loser. <laughs> <laughs> it, it felt like this really like tough thing to do. And then all of a sudden you're like, but but don't touch me. Just beat the yeah. shit out of each other in the circle pit. Stomp on each other and. Keep running. And, but... then, and then when you get back on stage, you're like, I was so scared just <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I've, I've never uh, given them an, another chance after that. So uh, it just yeah. it just kind of well, sounds like maybe maybe she's a diva. I don't know. It just kind of sounds like it. You never know. You never, you never know. know. No. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... Some people think I'm a diva, you know what I mean? Uh, and you know, it's like, it's like, but why? You know, Listen, why? When you wear that gold chain now, <laughs> and you're like, this is this is your like Superman emblem. You're the gold chain. Yeah, dude, that's my confidence chain. <laughs> my it, confidence. It, it actually, it actually, 
it when I wear it, it sheds me of all impurities. <laughs> so it's just no oh, diva, no, no, uh, it no blocks scaredness. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared of, about anything. Does it like I, it, it keeps everything in? Right? It doesn't let all your fears <laughs> and your diva ness out. It just holds it all in. No, man, that's that's a different person wearing that chain, dude. <laughs> he's, like, he's like the most confident man in the universe. <laughs> But uh, but if I did, but if I had met aliens, I guess I would be kind of scared. If I, it's like, so maybe not in the whole universe. Maybe just like in my county. <laughs> <laughs> the most con- this chain makes me the most confident man in all of the county. <laughs> <laughs> A beef man. Yeah. No no beef with me. Wear that chain. I beef with no one. Damn right. I'm only there for the greater good. <laughs> Anyway, it's sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, so we, we do, uh, is any more any more about beef, guys? Damn you guys all I can't think of any more beef. Toby, tell them about your know. podcast. Well, uh, I've got a little retro gaming podcast called The Secret Levels Podcast. It's a retro video game review show where we go over one game per episode. We go over the history, the story, the gameplay, some fun facts, and we let you know if it's still worth playing. We actually have covered a couple of X Men games. Uh, Uncanny X-Men for NES is garbage, but come hear us complain about it. But X-Men uh, uh, Mutant Apocalypse for Super Nintendo, ah, that was a good game. Very good game. Loved it. You guys know me, uh, playing in Terminator. We do have a show coming up if you're in the Fort Worth area, um, June 15th, I believe. Um, so you can check us out there um, and check us out on Spotify yeah, or can. follow us on Instagram. You got a YouTube channel too, so you can see some of the live videos. Oh yeah, we did start a YouTube channel, so you could watch some of our live videos. Just you know, pay no attention to <laughs> live vocals. That sounds so great, <laughs> but whatever. Guys, I am Michael, aka Rickshaw, and you're nerding out with Rickshaw. If you like what you see here, you should obviously subscribe to the YouTube you're watching. Also, we have a Twitch, a Facebook, an Instagram uh an x <laughs> uh and then a tiktok do you have that clip I of do one of our clip. songs yep, there yep, yep, yep. load it up play it. All right. Well, guys, we'll see you next week on Thursday. If you ever want to suggest some topics that, you know, you think would be fun to hear us talk about, hit us up at nerdingoutwithrickshaw at gmail.com, and we'll see you later. Man.